Because we all know breakfast is the greatest way to start the day. It's a hearty meal and it's good. So why don't you wake up for once and we'll make an omelet. Now, in order to make my pretty perfect omelet, we're going to need a couple things. First, an egg. And an omelet, imagine that. Then of course you have your cheese, yellow, white, whatever you want. And I like to add some onions and bell peppers just for taste. I'm just going to scoop these into this bowl right here. Set it aside. Now, time to choose a pepper. It's actually quite important. Choosing a pepper, each color represents a different taste. Depending on what you want to feel that day, red, yellow, green, they all represent their own taste. You gotta put the one you're feeling. I actually prefer the red pepper. It has this subtle spiciness that the other peppers don't get. The green one's a little sweet, and the yellow, I actually have no idea what it tastes like, so go nuts on that one. Remember, dicing is what you want some peppers in your omelet, it's going to be harder to eat. So, turn around like this. Dice! Peppers all diced up, it's about time. And guess what, we're going to put these in a bowl too. It's all about storage when you cook. If you leave it all on the cutting board, there's going to be no room to do anything else. Now, we move on to the eggs. The last ingredient we picked up, but the most important because you can't make an omelet without eggs. So let's crack these babies open. Bad boy number two. Now, we're going to add what I think is the key to making the perfect omelet. We're going to add some milk. How about you ask? I don't know, I'm not a scientist. Just don't drown the eggs, okay? Now we're going to give these bad boys a stir and we're ready to heat it up. And yes, make sure you get most of the egg out of the whisk. Clean it later. Well, the eggs are cooked pretty thoroughly on one side. So, let's add the rest of the ingredients. Fold it over, taco style. Aww. Voila. Then, we're going to let it cook a little longer. The key here is medium to low heat. There you have it. The world's most perfect omelet. One final thing, I do add a little bit of cilantro just to put some nice coloration on that omelet. Now you can make your own. I don't think I'm going to help you wake up. So, bon appetit. Or as they say in France, bon appetit. <laughs>